Hey, what's up garden friends? Jeff here at Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm great, a little bit frazzled. About a week or so ago, the weather finally let up in my area and I am so behind getting certain things planted. Right here in front of me, I have a list of a bunch of dahlias that need to go into the ground. Talked about the caladiums last week. I've been busy getting all the tags put together and I figured that it would probably be a good idea to go over the dahlias that I'm planting in their own video instead of like chunking it into a vlog like I normally would. That way it's just more easily accessible down the road if there are any questions or even if I get confused myself about what I have planted and going. Here it is, nice big box of dahlia tubers. And then I also have a, well, <laughs> can't even see what that says anymore. These are more of those giant kale lilies. I got one in a haul from Plant Delights not too long ago, and I also ordered these from Eden Brothers. Everything here is from Eden Brothers, and these are nice big. Look at them. Look at how big these are. I know this isn't what the video is about, but I mean, really, like, we're just here to nerd out about plants, right, and look at them and appreciate them. Look at the size of that. Nice and big, but they need to get into the ground. They're starting to feel somewhat light, which I'm noticing on some of these Dahlia tubers as well. Some of them might be shriveled, it is late. They should have gone in the ground probably a month ago, but you know, sometimes things just get out of hand. You lose track of time and the weather in May just sucked. I'm fairly confident if I had planted these in early to mid-May like I normally would, I think a lot of them would have rotted, but I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> They're not looking too great in the packages either. None of that is to the fault of Eden Brothers. They all showed up looking fantastic, nice, plump, and full at the time of arrival. But I'm gonna get them planted. If anything is too shriveled, I'll clip it out so that it's not rotting underground with the other tubers. And the first one I have here, nice looking clump. There's two clumps for all of these, except for one that's an assorted. The clumps come in separate bags, so there'll be one clump in here, and then there's another clump in another bag. But this first one is Belle of Barmera. Look at those flowers. Aren't they absolutely stunning? The nice apricot -y type of orangey coral color, which has always been one of my favorites. This one gets 48 inches tall. On all of them, I made sure to write down the height so I can be very careful about where I actually put them in the garden. I don't wanna misplace them. And right here, this is a bag of the Bora Bora, which some of them are pretty shriveled, but I'm seeing some growth out of them. So they should be just fine. The Bora Bora is a, this is a cactus type, right? Looks like a cactus type. You can see there's some variation in the color on the flowers that who knows what it's really gonna look like. Sometimes these pictures look saturated, so it'll be a bit of a surprise to see what the flowers look like. Either way, both the pictures, I think they look really pretty. And this one gets 32 inches high, so it's one of the smaller ones. And here is Islander. Pretty nice, decent sized clumps. Nothing feels squishy yet, they're still firm. Islander has a really, really big flower on it. They're giant, big pink, fluffy looking flowers. I'm really looking forward to cutting these and having them in arrangements. Gets 48 inches tall. I love the ruffled texture that the petals have on them too. Okay, look at this one. Got a big old bag of tubers here. So many of them. This is the Bridal Bouquet Mix. All it says on these height-wise is 25 inches and up. And uh, on the Eden Brothers website, I unfortunately couldn't find anything that really specifically said which dahlias were in this blend. But I mostly just want it because it's some softer colors. Now, a lot of the colors that I use in my garden tend to be more into the orange coral, very vibrant type colors. And I thought that this would be something that's just more soft and subdued that would just help break things up and make things look nicer. This is the only bag of tubers where I'm not positive how they're gonna do. Some of them are pretty shriveled, but still feels like there's something firm in here, so we will see. There's at least at least one good tuber in there, which is unfortunate, because these are my favorites. These are the Cafe Alles, classic big dahlia. They get to be, I don't even remember, like four feet tall, I believe. Yeah, four feet tall. They have a nice light pink, almost a creamy to a white color flower on them. They are great, all of these are great for cutting but they look really pretty in vases. The flowers on the Café Alley can get really big. Café Alley's one of the classics. I think a lot of people plant this one. It's always been one of my favorite ones to grow, so hopefully that one pulls through. If not, it's all right. There are plenty of dahlias here. And these next ones are looking pretty good. They have some growth inside the bags with the tubers. Some of the tubers were bagged up separately. Some of them were together. I think earlier I said they were all bagged up separately. That's not the case. Good sign that there's growth in here. This one is Mango Madness, which has beautiful, like, cream sickle orange to pink flowers. 
They remind me of a sunset. Nice big flowers on this one. And it gets how tall? 50? 40 inches. It's 40 inches high. I really like this one because I think the color lends itself well for summertime because it's got that vibrant, like I said, tropical sort of appeal to it. But also they have that orange in them, so it'll still work well for the fall time. And if I do any fall type flower arranging, it'll be good to have those or even just leave them on the plant. I think that'll look beautiful out here that time of year. These aren't looking too bad either. Still pretty farm. There are a couple in there that are desiccated, but I think they'll be okay. This one is Myrtle's Foley. Foley? Folly? Myrtle's Folly? I'm not sure. 37 inches high, has a very heavy petaled flower on it. Pinks, reds, yellows, some oranges, but there is some variation in the pictures though. So I don't know if it ages into this more of a faded color back to the brighter color or what that's about. I like them both though. When they're faded like this, I think they look pretty. And then when they're bright and vibrant like they were before, looked really pretty too. I like them either way, but I would prefer they look like the first picture. There are factors that can affect flower color, temperature, soil acidity, all, all different things. And it's not unusual for a flower to look one way when it first starts to open and then age out and have a different appearance to it. So hopefully at some point it looks really big and pretty. And if it's the more subdued colors, that's okay too. That's the great thing about dahlias. No matter what, I pretty much always like them. I don't think I've ever seen a dahlia and was like, ugh. I don't like that one. The last one is Otto's Thrill. I actually think, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I am, this isn't the last one, but I don't know where the bag is for the other one. I have to figure that out. This is Otto's Thrill, three feet high, really just classic pink petaled, heavily petaled, beautiful pink dahlia. I don't really know what else to say about it other than I just thought it was really cute. It was a fun kind of soft, bubblegum pink flower on it. I got this one for the same reason I got the bridal bouquet one, just because I wanted something that wasn't quite as loud. I wanted to have a lot of different variety to play with with the dahlias this year. And yet there is still one left on my spreadsheet, but I don't see it here. There's the bridal bouquet. We already talked about that one. Islander, we talked about that one. More Islander. Bora Bora. Oh, I just hadn't checked it off my list. Bella Barmera gets six feet high. I think that was the only thing I didn't mention. I already showed it. I'm pretty positive that I did, but it was the height that I forgot to mention. That's a really big dahlia. I've got my tags ready to go. They all have little holes in them so I can hang them from the stakes where the plants are. I went ahead and put the height on them. Otto's Thrill, 36 inches, and Myrtle's Foley, 37 inches. Uh, there are some differences I noticed between what I got from the website and what was on the bags, which isn't a big deal because it's not, they aren't off by any extreme numbers or anything like that. I know, I have terrible handwriting, but it's all right, I can read it. That's all that matters. And that's it, that's everything. Everything except for the Cafe Alates look like they should be okay. And even those, I think maybe, at least maybe one of those little tuber fingers will pull through and do all right. I'm really looking forward to getting these going this year. A few weeks behind, but it's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the ground, really probably right now, as soon as we're done filming this, it's supposed to be like 100 degrees in a few days, big heat wave moving in, and uh, it's, they need it. They need to get in the ground right away. So I'm gonna get on top of that. Hope everybody's doing well. Comment down below, what are some of your favorite Dahlia varieties? There are so many to choose from. At my laptop out here doing like a little slideshow of the different things that we were looking at. I just enjoy looking at them. They're fun to have around for the cutting garden. The pollinators seem to enjoy them just, just because of those big like bursts of colors, having that around helps to draw them in. They always seem to like it. I like looking out my window and seeing them move around. I'm not a huge fan of the staking, but it is what you gotta do. And that's all right, it's worth it. Oh, and I need to find some wire too, so I can get those all strung up around the stakes. Did you wanna see the spreadsheet? You can take a screenshot of that, or I'll put it up here on the screen in case anybody wanted to actually see the quantities and the sizes from what I got from the website versus what was written on the bags. Let me know what some of your favorites are, what do you do with your dahlias, tips, tricks, suggestions, always appreciated. Hope everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life and everything's just going beautifully for you. Go out of focus and back in focus. Make up your mind, camera. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, Keep on growing. Bye-bye.